Axie Infinity and SLP price prediction 2022. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, I've got some massive news to share with you. It's probably one of the biggest updates we've seen from the Axie Infinity team, and it's going to have huge implications on the price of AXS token and the SLP token. So, if you're invested in the game, or you're playing the game, or you're breeding Axies, make sure you watch the video till the end. If Axie Infinity team can deliver on this update i think the price of axs and slp is going to go up so make sure you watch the video till the end i'll share with you and a trade setup on both axs and slp at the end of the video also guys if you're playing the axe infinity game or you're looking for scholarships make sure you smash that like button and comment below i'll pick someone and give you some axie to play with them so i, I still play the axe infinity game i've moved over to peg axie a lot more there's a lot more money in it and there will be a peg axie video coming up in the, in this week later this week but if you are interested in getting a free scholarship make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel and comment below i'll share some axis for you to play with so guys let's get into the video it's the biggest upgrade let's actually read the announcements so adventure mode slp will be sunset reduced to zero this will include rewards for first time completion daily quest slp will be sunset reduced to zero so that is the biggest upgrade and if you have watched my previous video on uh, especially the slp price i'll come on to axs uh, soon because they're very uh, they, they move together you'd, you'd like you like uh, more often than not again if bitcoin dumps everything dumps but let's go back to the slp uh, price prediction so i was actually quite bullish on slp if you watch my video uh, we were around here i was looking to buy slp we had a couple of bounces and when once slp broke below here i was like look we're really bearish just get out and the reason for that i recommend you go watch this video i explain why the price was dumping i made this video uh, mid last year and hopefully if you got out slp you probably made some money but the problem with SLP was the supply of SLP. You know, people would get free SLPs by doing the daily quests. I believe there were bots getting SLPs as well. And, you know, people in, in, in Southeast Asia, third world countries, people were just playing the game, gaining as much SLP as they could and literally selling SLP as soon as they got it. Because, you know, they weren't looking to invest like me and you and, and probably hold. They were literally getting it to you know getting slps get paid to pay for their bills and uh, what was happening was the price of slp just kept on dumping dumping and and you can see even from here you know people say oh no it will go up it dumped about almost 80 90 percent and and to be fair it's not just slp any projects i mean if you followed our channel we love luna but even if you look at the the luna protocol coins uh, we hold luna and i'm still massively bullish on luna but look at the anc token uh, which exchange got history look at the anc token this is just down only because people take profit and usually this type of you know utility tokens people usually get it and sell to take profit so it's really important how the how the team uh, manages that supply and demand and a uh, peg axi team i think is doing a brilliant job they're actually burning what's minted and um, if i can show you the burning and mint capital let me just give me a second i'll share with you the burning and mint capital so a, 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 a SOP the supply was you know a lot lot more than what the demand was if you look at the what pegaxi is doing and pegaxi video is coming out soon but you can see the burn element most pegaxis get um pegaxi the the viz viz is the slp for pegaxi you can see the burn and uh, minted they're pretty much the same and that is why the price of viz is going up and when slp first started everyone was just trying to get in the game the price went up but once people started you know getting slp dumping slp to pay for their bills the price kept on dumping so this up upgrade is huge what this upgrade is saying is you can't get free slps you know any no one can just go in and get slps when a project launches so pegaxi again i'm not trying to pump my pegaxi bags but pegaxi gives you money for just racing at the moment you don't need any skills and uh, axe infinity was doing that last year and you know if you followed our channel we got into axe infinity less than five dollars and it went absolutely parabolic we made crazy money and we always try to get into the next coin and pegaxi might not be that one but we've you know we've got into dirk we've got to peg axi and it's a really important skill to get in early in a project and try to make money so if you are interested in you know trading 
uh, related content so at axe infinity we took a trade in the youtube videos like this video i'll share with you our exact trades when we're looking to buy and sell in the rockstar trading group guys we can share with your entries our targets this was a peg axi uh, axe infinity trade i posted exactly and we said we would look to buy the pullback 50 percent moving average after breakout even if you watch my free youtube live stream it's an amazing trade so if you are interested in the rockstar trading group i'll leave the links below so i live stream three to four times a week there's access to telegram group and myself and other people uh trading the uh, you know playing games DeFi, and all that stuff so if you are interested i'll leave the links below you can try us for less than 30 bucks there's a special offer uh, you can try us for less than 30 bucks and not 40 to see if this group is for you or not so if you are interested check it out let's come back to that infinity news so that's the biggest news i wanted to share with you but let's go through this and i think like i said this is going to be huge for the future of a a axie and i think axie infinity again l has lost a lot of market share the price has dumped but this could be a massive turning point so it's a really important video to share with you so from the onset our mission of axe infinity has been to create an engaging fun and rewarding game experience for everyone and i believe the you know giving those daily slp helped the game grow no one would have played the game if if that wasn't there and it was a great it, it was important at that time to hear at that time that was a really important update but now you know we need to always be developing always be improving if you just stay at the same place your your game dies in investment business whatever so it's a i don't think it was a bad thing wax infinity did and a um, lot of the newer projects so pegaxi and other projects are learning from axi infinity and they have better you know burn and mint ratio models so the price is sustainable and axi infinity is actually learning from their mistakes and moving into a more uh, sustainable economy so predictable economy evolves over time we take the responsibility of economic balance within the axi extremely seriously we believe the fastest way to reduce this volatility is for all for all uh, for us all to come to terms with our collective responsibility within axi quickly work to build consensus and enable each other's community efforts prosperity amongst the community comes when it's collectively collectively creates value then it consumes and that is basically what they're doing economic balancing with three goals create a framework for community dialogue around economic balancing prepare the community for upcoming economic changes and most importantly seek community input the inflation of slp has been very high which we talked about six months ago they're just addressing it now i probably preferred if they addressed it way before other gaming projects probably wouldn't have taken as much market share for them because i know people like myself that have moved their axi into other projects so uh, f at the time with around 4x slp being created and then burned so this is huge you've, you're creating more and more supply and if there's trading you know everyone talks about this fancy trading uh, indicators and none of them works it's all about reading human psychology and what the price demand and supply if there's more demand when there was when everything was quite parabolic you know every bbc and all uh, normal media outlets were covering x infinity everyone in you know southeast asia playing and making money and it became viral there was more demand than supply once that demand started dropping and the supply was still 4x uh, the the demand you can't sustain those prices same with bitcoin price in 2017 um it, it, it's always the same that it's always demand and supply and once the supply increases at the moment the amount of slp being created is just not uh, realistic so and the only burning mechanism is through breeding and not much is being bred uh, to keep sustaining those prices so so that's why they're building more better burning mechanisms which i'll, I'll read through um, so first of all is elimination of adventure mode and daily quest rewards so let's just start with a brief overview a brief review uh, of the recent mint rates with the, within the current battle experience and i think again this is going to be the the biggest uh, change and the biggest update which i said at the start of the live uh, start of this video so roughly 40 percent of slp is created from adventure mode roughly 44 percent of slp is created from pvp uh, and the remainder for 14 percent is minted from players claiming the daily quests so with the daily quests and the adventure mode um being reduced uh, it's going to really drop the uh, supply of slp and we're already seeing a price increase and you know i've not longed slp i've longed access with the group i shared the shared the trade setup with you and i'll share with another one i think there's still more room to go as long as bitcoin holds 40k i think axie and slp is going to have another rally 
So let's carry on with the news. We can see the adventure mode and PvP receive roughly equ equivalent uh, rewards. This does not line up with the principles that will make Axis succeed. So you want to, you know, reward people that are more skilled, people that are putting more money in. You don't want just anyone to make money. So um, at the start, it's great. It gets attention. It gets people in. It, it brings money into the Axie Infinity and um, SLP ecosystem. But after a while, you have to change. And I think um, this is going to change with um, Pegaxi as well. Pegaxi can't um sustain what they're doing in my opinion at the moment is the market cap is so low i think hopefully we're gonna have played other games as well hopefully i love their tokenomics and you know hit that let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a pegaxi video because it takes a long time to create you know tutorial videos so it will take me a few days but if you are interested if there's enough interest i'm happy to make that video for you because there could be huge potential in it so uh, they're making it basically more sustainable as a first measure to stabilize the economy we have removed the 50 slp that can be earned from adventure mode each day this alone will remove 130 m um, slp per day that is huge the supply reduction obviously you can see the price going up you can see how demand and supply works live and i know that if you want to learn trading investing if you just learn one thing i don't teach you know fancy indicators and stuff just try to think what the other people are thinking and if you can catch one of those rallies that's when you can you know grow your account and uh, really really well so adventure mode was originally conceived as a way for the community to learn how to use their axes so it's played its part which is you know what other newer projects are doing but then you have to move away from it so daily quest in principle was great to encourage people to play every day but it's now becoming a mass emission mechan mechanism for slp by removing the daily quest we are able to reduce issuance of by around 45 million slp per day so revamp pvp rewards again i won't get too much into this it's not really going to affect you as much but you know they're making some changes as well for the player to player version and this is you know people that play Axie this is going to be quite good and you know there are what the one thing I like about Axie Infinity and you know it's not that I don't like the project anymore I probably think the Axie Infinity game is better than Apollo and hopefully Apollo hopefully Peg Axie improves their gaming experience and it's still early I still think the Axie Infinity game has more potential in my opinion after playing both the games but um they just need to sort out what they're doing with the tokenomics but long term there are people that play Axie Infinity just for playing sake and that is huge for me. You don't want to just play because of to earn money. I'm mainly doing it to earn money and I'm, I'm completely honest. This is Rockstar Trading. We're about making money. Um, well, I'll do, you know, as long as, you know, ethically, morally, it's not wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll do what I need to make money. But yeah, there are people that play Axie Infinity without uh, the need for money. And that is a huge, huge plus for me. And that tells me that long term, if the team can deliver and you know, improve, there are, they've done a few things that I'm not happy about just being involved with the community. Um, but again, it's still a huge, huge project. They're increasing burn, more supply burn. This is huge. Again, like I've said before, we want to see um, the supply reduce any projects. You know, Bitcoin sees crazy demand and obviously the supply of Bitcoin goes down as well. There's, there's a, a limited supply you, you can't just create bitcoin and if the demand goes up the price goes up so if we see another hype in axe infinity with all these supply reductions i'm mainly more bullish axs but slp price will go up as well these are some new burning me mechanisms they're adding so special cosmetics and skins upgraded axie body parts in-game emojis breeding events buying tournaments and axie naming for example one of the upcoming tokens things that will be introduced through origin system crafting tokenized power-ups that, that augment and strengthen your axis so these are some amazing in-game features and these are not just for burning mechanisms it will also help people play the game it just makes it a game more interesting there's more tools that are in your hand more uh, strategies that people can employ so i think these are some amazing features that axe infinity team is bringing i would have just preferred if they brought these earlier the project the price would have been a lot lot higher but it also if you believe in the project you're buying it a lot cheaper than you would have you're buying it almost 80 90 percent cheaper so in that sense it's not that bad if you think if you, if you think of it that way so yeah uh let me go back and finish i, I really want to go through this news because if you are again slightly longer video but if you are looking to make money and you know i know people in my group made six seven figures i didn't make as much money in axie infinity i made making more money in peg axie because i got in axie slightly later um so yeah if you want to make money please do your work watch this video do your own research read the white paper and yeah put your money to work if you want to you know achieve your goals financial goals this is what you need to do so uh, energy rework <clears throat> 
this is another uh, point that <clears throat> excuse me they've not implemented that they're looking to do and they'll be working with the communities for it so the current energy system is a bit strange there's some incentives for players to upgrade to 10 and 20 axes but it's actually more energy efficient to split up nine axes onto three separate accounts and give them to scholars so they're trying to uh, make changes to that and join the discord community and the future um they believe the economic changes will allow to start writing the ship and getting the economy moving in the right direction. We know that it will be key to execute on delivering new burn mechanisms this year, which we've mentioned before. These issuance reductions will not be enough to get the economic engine back to full strength, but the needed uh, step as we build towards a fully functioning and sustainable economy. When Origin is released, it will be very important for us to share a roadmap of the upcoming features and economic things that will be added as we reiterate quickly on the game. And follow these people as well. I follow them on Twitter. There's some amazing people that you can learn from, especially Dave versus Axie. So that's the upgrade, guys. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions about the news, comment below. And I'm still involved with Axie, not as much as I am with Peg Axie, but again, I'm still involved with it. And I want them to succeed. Like I've said, the key thing for play to earn model games, and if you watch my uh I made like top five videos coins on play to earn games best uh, metaverse games the key thing for them initially they're gonna have uh interest they're gonna have success people are gonna be interested in the projects like we're seeing with pegaxi like we're seeing with you know all the uh, play met metaverse or play to earn models but the key is can they make it sustainable and i've not really seen projects make it sustainable like initially there's going to be higher people investing in it but and they use that money for play to earn models but when the money dries up how can they be sustainable and can can Axie Infinity be the first team to do it? If not, we're going to have to be in trading mode where we get in and take profit and get out. But Axie Infinity is one of the leading, the you know, the biggest crypto out there in the metaverse play to earn game. And I hope they succeed. And if they succeed, there's going to be lots of other people. And this industry is going to grow in, you know, massively. I'm not sure if they'll succeed in the next one to two years or it's going to be five years but i'm a massive believer in play to earn and i've invested a lot of my money into it so let's start the technical analysis and price prediction part of the video i won't try to keep you that long so axi infinity guys uh, it bounced from this support so if you study if you've been following our channel this is the day uh, the monthly uh, support level weekly support level we want to be looking to buy here we were waiting for our structure again watch our previous videos you probably already know our structure we look to buy pullbacks. So I shared a couple of live trades. Uh, watch the live stream. And these are not after the fact. I'm not saying I've only shared it with the group. Um, if you watch my Cardena trade, KDA trade, this was another for our pullback trade. Uh, this was shared. And also the other trade, which was Q and T. That was a really uh, another nice trade. Let me just find that trade for you guys. Q and T. So that was another trade we posted came into our zone i posted entry exit you can see that before it happened and really nicely hit our target so and um, these are all beforehand and you can study all my trades and i look for the same setups all the time and i try to keep trading simple and even if you're an investor it's really important to understand when to buy when to sell so i'm actually looking to buy uh, axe infinity now so i'll share with you my buy zone now but i want to see a bit more structure on this so my buy zone is around i'd say 60 and i'd have stopped below 50 but it really needs to hold above 57 to 55 so that's the sort of trade setup i'm looking at and i think it's going to head towards 75 level so same setup as we saw earlier so we broke out i prefer these because your stop loss is so much closer you, your stop loss is when you enter here your stop loss is less than five six percent but now your stop loss is a lot more so it's not as good of a trade um, But if you're looking for longer term play you can look to buy this and as long as we hold above 50 i think i'm bullish on axi and i think axi goes higher if we start you know breaking this trend breaking below this red zone so i'm pretty confident we're going to see a bounce play from here whether it's from here or there but if we start breaking down all these price predictions i'm sharing uh, i'm not going to look to buy x infinity and also for this trade bitcoin is to hold up one thing that we do in the rockstar trading group is i've shared lots of trades in the group as i've just shown shown you but what's the, what i look for is we look to short hedge as well so if ethereum or bitcoin breaks down we're going to look to short it because once bitcoin breaks down all the old coins dip so you don't want to be you know uh, in leverage long positions and you know get caught with your pants down when bitcoin dumps so that's another really important thing so that's my setup in axi infinity and if you ask for a prediction i think axi infinity is going to head towards around 100 dollars in the next couple of months and then we'll see if they can deliver on what they've said if they can make those changes make the economy 
um, you know, completely sustainable without you know, new money coming in, without new hype. That's when I think Axie could absolutely moon. It can go, you know, two, three hundred thousand, anything crazy. Again, I don't want to talk about those prices, but if Bitcoin goes parabolic to 100K, we know that crypto can go to prices that are not realistic and no one can believe. So it can have those rallies. But short time, that's the straight setup I'm looking at. First target would be. 80 and around 100 so those are my two targets if we start trend changing below 50 i'm out slp has pumped more and like i said i'm personally not slp just pumped so quickly we couldn't share the trade in the rockstar trading group um a few people got it when i shared the news because i'm not as big a fan of slp so slp again same setup i teach the same setup one of the things to mention is the daily moving average we want to be buying when it's above the daily moving average if i go back and show you uh, axi quickly axs token quickly these are all the steps that I share what to look for in our in our trading strategy. So if you look, the trade setup I took, when did it happen? Above the daily moving average. The probability of your wins goes up when you use my setups in key zones. Anyone can buy pullbacks to moving average, but no, knowing which ones to buy and which ones to not buy is the key. So that is the thoughts on Axie Infinity uh, access token. SLP, same SLP, I want to look to buy cheaper, to be fair. SLP, I want to look to buy the daily moving average just because the the way the prices move. And I don't, you know, it's not just about blindly buying supports. I want to look to buy uh, SLP around uh, 1.4 to uh, 1.2 cent. I'd have wide stop below here. But if we start breaking 1 cent, I would get worried about SLP. And I think SLP would go potentially break down again. Uh, I personally think what we're going to see is something like this. And then the question is going to be, is it going to trend change? If it trend changes after giving a structure like this on a daily time frame, that's when I'm going to start buying SLP targeting five and six cent. So that's going to be my main trade at the moment. It's just a short time frame bounce. If Bitcoin holds 40K, SLP gives that trade set up. That's when I will be looking to take the trade and uh, that's my price prediction for SLP and Axie Infinity. So thank you very much for watching this video, slightly longer video, but make sure you watch the video till the end. Uh, and, you know, hopefully you've learned it. If you have any questions, comment below. If you are interested in scholarships, comment below, like and subscribe. And I'll pick maybe a couple uh, to give some, uh, my Axie for a few days for you to um, play with and maybe earn some SLP as the SLP price is going up. Before I end the video, guys, what is your thoughts on Axie Infinity? Do you think this project is going to be successful? Do you think the price is going to go up? Comment below your thoughts on Axie Infinity and comment below your price prediction. Also, guys, if you want me to make that Peg Axie video, let me know in the comment section below. Um, we're really excited about Peg Axie, so I'll make a video on Peg Axie later in the week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for the update. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Go Axie Infinity.